Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is a kind of a specialized video, but I think it'll help quite a few people if they ever do anything like this. I do quite a bit of work for a lady that sells on SD, and she makes these really neat bicycle chain pendants. She buys recycled bicycle chain from old uh, old chain for bicycle shops and clean them up and uh, puts a hoop on them. And so we've been doing this for a while, but we we engrave on both sides of them. So that's a little tricky tonight. I just got through engraving 50 of, of this one front and back. So I'm going to show you how I did it. I'm going to start off at four inches uh, from the edge of the laser. And I'm going to show you that why in just a minute. But the item is 0 .308. So I'm going to change my nudge factor to 0.39. And I'm going to go control D and then I'm going to move it over one. Control D, control D, and I'm going to get eight of them on that sheet. Now my deal is uh, tall, it's 0 0.0 or 1.047. So I'm going to change my nudge factor to 0 0.09. And then I'm going to get all these I'm going to control D and move them down now I've got them on the sheet that's as many as I can get on the sheet and I could actually whoop, grab my line there I could actually safely um, you know move them down just a hair so and I'll show you why more you know because you're not going to be able to use this part of the sheet anyway so kind of get them where you've got a good edge but then you've also got to do these to put on the back and they've got to be exactly in the same spot so what I did let's just do this and I'm also going to take a square box here and I'm going to do this and I'll show you why in just a second now I'm going to group all these together control G now I'm going to bring this thing in and put it right on top and I'm actually going to zoom in here. I'm actually going to use this node here to kind of snap to. So it's exactly on top of the other one. Now my nudge was 1.39. So I'm going to grab my one item and I'm going to duplicate over. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now if you remember, now I can grab just these. But I'm going to change my nudge to 1.09. Now I'm going to grab these and I'm going to go control D. So now they're all exactly on top of each other. Well, I evidently did something wrong because they're, I must, okay, I didn't, I didn't uh, copy them all. But now why I put this little square here, and I'll show you this in just a second. So I'm going to change my, my nudge factor to five inches now. Tell you what, let's get this out of the way. I'm going to grab this box, which and grabs all my first ones, and I'm going to move it up five inches. Now I'm going to control G, and now these are grouped. So I really want to start with the other side, so I'm going to go up five or ten inches, put these back to where they were, Put this back so now I'm going to put it in the laser I'm going to run I'm going to engrave and cut these with the vector then and I'll show you that in the table so let's just kind of back up here this is the way I looked at this is the board I'm going to engrave on I set it four inches over I used a piece of board the same board four inches and I taped it down real good to my laser. Taped down both ends that I'm not going to engrave on. And the reason I'm moving it four inches is because I'm going to have to flip over all these pieces individually and put them right back in the same hole. Well, the reason I've moved it four inches, if I didn't, a couple of them would be right underneath this laser head and they'd be hard to turn over. Now, I could change the focus and put the focus back, but the 
To save time, I found when you're doing multiple sheets, this is the easiest way to do. So this is what they look like turned over and they're ready to grave again. So on this run, so I've, let's say we've cut and engraved these. Okay, and we're ready for the next run. Just move these out of the way. Move these down. They're exactly where they were because I'm just nudging them that five inches. And if you ever wonder why your five inches goes away, it's because you're, you're selected on something. When you, you're not selected, your nudge factor shows up. Now I can run this job and just engrave it without cutting it. And then they'll be exactly, she, she actually, I actually taught her a little bit about Corel. We've been working together for so long. She drew these in Corel Draw and she, she figures out, you know, how much space she needs. So it's very important for them to be exactly where she had them in placement or they'll run off this edge. And that's why they kind of got this gear looking shape. These two actually set in the sprockets. And we just found out it was a lot better and didn't really need these other sprockets. We started out with all sprockets, but it gives a cleaner look. And sometimes when the chains are a little bit, a little bit minute, different sizes, they, um, it helps put them together. So remember, add a little extra box that you can grab because I'll just show you. Let's just grab these real quick. Okay, they're on top of each other. Which one are you grabbing? You don't know. But if you have this little square box where nothing else is there, then you know. Anyway, it's kind of a fun project, a little learning curve, and, and uh, I just started doing this four inch offset and it really, really helped. Now you'll see a, and also, I mean, I've got it taped down really good, but I'm gonna keep my hand on it there is a little piece of blue tape right here that I use to pull them out and then turn them over because you need it exactly where it was. These are pretty little. I mean, they're not, you know, what were they like an inch, um, you know, an, an inch by an inch and a third. So they need to be exact. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.